Let's watch this. <laughs> she squirts. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's crave is smash burgers, but on extra crisp English muffins. So I'm gonna butter these up. I'm gonna air fry them so they all get crispy inside and outside. And then I got this fresh meat here. We're gonna do nice, thin, super thin, crisp patties. We got the tomato, the onion, this beautiful pickle that is going to be very delicious once I slice it. And of course we need the shredded iceberg lettuce. We got the cheese, American cheese. And this sauce right here might as well be called Area 52 sauce because it is so damn secret. The CIA don't even know about it. I've been perfecting this sauce for some time now and today we try it on these extra crispy English muffin smash bigas. So just for the interest of time and the fact that most of us know how to prep vegetables, I'll just show you the veggie plate, but these pickles, I'm telling you, ran them through the mandolin. Perfect thickness, not too big and juicy. Nice and uh, almost McDonald's-esque, but look at that. Oh, those beautiful white insides. And then we got the nice thin mandolin onions, right? Gotta have them like that. Nice uniform thin slices of tomato. And then of course, I was gonna do shredded lettuce, but then I figured, nah, I'm gonna keep it to the perfect burger sized pieces, like in and out style. So we're just gonna do it like that, a little extra crunch. I'm gonna wrap this up, put this in the fridge while we smash these patties. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get these uh, English muffs buttered up. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what do you, what do you mean? Smash burgers on an English muffin? I know, seems strange, but something tells me it's gonna work so, so well together because these things get crisped up so nice. And just imagine a really crispy, thin, greasy, smashity burger with cheese running everywhere, but while well, very like decadent and crunchy, you know? That's what I'm going for, that's what's in my mind. Now, that being said, these English muffs aren't the ones I would usually use. I gave these a chance in the grocery store because they were on sale two bags of six for five bucks, which is a good deal. But that being said, something about the interior is off. They're not um, holy like I would want. Like usually they're very holy inside and you get those, those air pockets and those crispy butter holes, like those butter pools. But uh, these are a little more solid state, if you will. I don't know, they're just like, they don't have those deep holes in them. But anyways, so I gotta get these in the AF, air fryer, 275, maybe 300 for a few minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them, but uh, so as not to burn. Okay, so we have our six patties laid and displayed, maybe an ounce, ounce and a half on each a parchment paper square so we could do a smush on the smash. And while they're here, just on top, I'm gonna do a little salt on each one of these sides. And these are very loosely, they're not super rolled together tight, they're just very loosely put together. A little pepper. And now we smash in the piping hot pan. All right, pan on, burner on, super hot, high as she goes. And we come in with just a little bit of oil, brush it around, get the whole pan with just that light little coat. All right, pan is starting to smoke, it's getting so hot. So we're gonna come in with our first pate right here. Place one here. Now we got the big boy spatulas out. And we smush. color. Cheeky piece of cheese in the center. Stack a friend on top. Bring that over here. And repeat process. All right, the A&W style. Coming in hot and cheesy. Oh. Got cheese though, wow. All right, the double cheese smash pate. Go ahead and close this, close this up. One. 
the semi A and W. Here we have the semi A and W stylings. Some ingredients on the bottom. And then we have the classically topped styling as well. Three butter toasted English muffins, extra crispy, couple different styles, smash patties. These look phenomenal and I can't wait to eat them. All right, y'all, what up? A little home cooking episode back in the studio. Two guns would be my guess for this. Not your average smash patty. We've subbed out the buns for crispy English muffs. We know this by now. Uh, I can't tell if you can tell that it's smoky in here, but my place is smoked out. Smash patties or high crisp Maillard reaction burger patties. I see why you need hoods and fans in restaurants because my place is smoked out. All the windows are open. But anyways, we're going with a just a H2O today because three of these bad boys are bad enough. So they look amazing. Um, I haven't had a proper smash burger in who knows how long because in my city, uh, nobody sells them. And that's why I feel like I need to sell these. And uh, I don't know how people would respond with the whole English muffin thing, but uh, I do believe it should be incredible. And oh my God, it's just so perfect. Look at how perfect all my little ingredients are. Okay, let's get a bite. Smush, smush, and the secret sauce, Woo -hoo! under wraps. Oh my God. Juicy in the butt. Let's go. Perfect little thin, crispy patties. That tomato is leaking. That's a juicy tomato. Fuck, I feel like I have to like stand for this. <laughs> Look at this. Mm. Wow. Mm. That buttery crispy English muffin. Just makes it. Everything makes it. The ratios. Each ingredient being like that perfect thinness, basically. All right, let's try this simple, basic Maddie Matheson. Right, the double cheese. With those patties, those perfect pickles, those perfect onions. Here's one thing I'll tell you about the secret sauce. It has like well-cooked, chopped up bacon in it. So there's bacon in the sauce. And that's all you get to know. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Oh man, something so satisfying about that simplicity. Yeah. These are dangerous. Oh wow. simplicity of that bird.
You already know that right there. That's the bite. What made me want to try these with the English muffins was I made uh, that Grand Slam bre breakfast platter. I made the fried bologna with bacon, eggs, pickled jalapenos, cheese. And I air fried, I buttered and air fried the English muffins for that sandwich. I remember it being the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had. So instinctually I thought, smash burgers. I thought my first one was the A&W style one. It wasn't. This is, the other one was more um, just the traditional, more banquet style. But this one has the uh, onions and pickles on the bottom. So we'll see how that, uh, how that goes, watch this. She squirts. You guys know, know me. It's all about architecture. Where do the ingredients best? lie in the burger. I gotta say, this one's better than the other one, the banquet one. I like getting some onion and pickle first. Tomato wax and a fool. No. Saucy burgers too. Holy. I shit you not, I've been fantasizing about these for like a week. As well. Drag it through. Mm -mm. Four guns. More than two guns. Double the guns, double the fun. Those are amazing. Truly amazing. All right, did a little wash up. A little cleanse the palate. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, even though I know that's virtually impossible because you didn't get to eat them and I got to eat them, but uh, give them a try, follow the, the, the direct. Um, all I know is I need to start selling shit like this for real because <laughs> I just know I'd have a lineup. I just know I'd have a lineup just because I've looked around where I live and nobody does stuff quite like this like they just don't they don't get it to that to that t right like to that f perfect execution and i think that was near close if i had a flat top it'd be better it was hard to do in the pen if i had a flat top it'd be money anyways till the next one you know what to do you could live well stay true if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.